Hi everyone, it is Katie. What's going on? So, um, uh, SSRIs are trending on X right now. And I would like to answer some questions. I am not open to my mental wellness or talking about that because um, what that does is it brings weirdos out of the woodwork, abusers, people who think they can get away with anything, doing anything to you because you have a diagnosis. Uh, so you don't want people to know something on paper or against you. They will absolutely use it against you. It's open in the community that um, I have either like brain damage or... Uh, some sort of bipolar disorder, but uh, I'm not a violent person by nature. I do create ideas and I have do, do have certain opinions that could be considered volatile by some and they usually originate in like Catholicism that's not really popular, but um, I've been horrifically abused and called ableist. I, I must have had about you know, I'm about 40 years old. This is what 40 years old looks like. No makeup. Uh, I don't mind. I'm not dressing up like Marilyn Monroe to go to the gas station every day. But, um, you know, I just, I must have had seven stalkers in my life. And um, what they do is they just, uh, there are people who will abuse you and then they just call you crazy. But... I think what is happening with males and SSRI specifically is that um, antipsychotic, and the term psychotic doesn't mean like somebody with a knife stabbing somebody. It means loss of touch with reality. What is reality these days? But anyway, that's a whole different philosophical topic. But um, I like taking medicine. I think what's going on with me is partially racial. And, um, I just have a lot of energy. I can be up for eight days and not have to eat anything and just ponder the universe. And I need something to knock me out. So I'm going to talk to you about the medicine that I take to help me sleep, basically. What I have is like this mania insomnia thing. So, Respiridone, also known as Respiridol, is a wonder drug. I'll show you what it looks like. They look like these little pink pills. They changed them. They're like orange or pink. And it's like, it's almost like a hydrocodone, but you are totally with it. It doesn't make you groggy. It just kind of sedates you a little bit. So, like, where there's not as much rapid speech... Or, um, I was able, I'm a, I was able to use Respiridol, uh, in a tailoring setting where I was, you know, brought down from my natural energy level and use a buttonhole machine, which is ridiculous. Picture a sewing needle. Now those on the button, to put a button on a suit. The needle is very thick. If that went through your finger, you'd break your finger and have a tip of your finger missing. And I was able to do that for a few years on that. And the other one I take is oxcarbenzapine, also known as trileptol. Trileptol is a wonder drug. Both me and also my mom has facial seizures that cause extreme pain, like something's pulling her face. So she also takes this drug. I'm adopted. And we're not blood related, but we both take the same thing. It's also an antidepressant. And sometimes epileptics will use this one. But this is an antidepressant. I, I just assume that sadness is... I was, a, I was always a very angry, sad child. I don't mind sadness. I think people think that I like being sad because that's what I talk about most of the time. And half the reason why I'm so funny is because I am making jokes about complaining that's me complaining and the other one i'm on is alprazolam this is a new one oh uh, this just puts me to sleep i need to sleep 
So keeping a regular schedule, waking up, uh, hygiene stuff. My teeth look a little dark right now. I like to drink black coffee. But um, just kind of making sure everything's okay with my family, doing what I got to do, going to work, and these sorts of things. So I'm not violent. Like if somebody... If somebody were to go after my mother, like if I was with my mother and someone started to attack my mother, I would protect my mother with everything I had. Uh, if someone backed me into a corner like a stranger, you know, like I would physically fight back. I don't have vendettas against anything. I make comments about people who have like pissed me off or jokes about the past, but um, I don't hurt animals. Uh, I've never hurt a person or an animal, like, on purpose, like, violently, that something wasn't present that was, yeah, I'm a very reasonable person, but, yeah, um, some people found this out about me and really kind of, just kind of became obsessed with me and making up stories about how I'm, like, Texting this and texting that and messaging this. I do send strange messages to people who I trust that is almost like a newsletter. But I have friends. But like, I'm, uh, Katie Pixie doesn't have any friends. I got one friend who's a doctor I've been friends with since kindergarten. She's one of my best friends. We are night and day. I'm literally all right-brained and she's literally all left-brained. She's a good friend of mine. Doesn't mean I have to talk to her every day. Another one of my friends is, you know, funeral director, all that stuff. Uh, another friend of mine, you know, I got friends in security. I got friends who are carnies. I got friends that are older ladies that are like my mom's friends. But I, uh, I tend to be, have very close one-on-one -on -one relationships, really knowing the person um, instead of doing the whole crowd thing. I don't know. I'm not anti-woman. Sometimes I make some jokes about, like, yeah, sisterhood, you know, and women stab each other in the back. But I don't hate women, but women can be kind of just ridiculous sometimes. Um, and, uh, I, I'm definitely, I'm more, I'm very pro-patriarchy, very much so. I tend to prefer men. Um, how they handle things and whatnot. But um, I am an asset to the community. Um, I know I take medicines and stuff. But if I'm working at a restaurant. And a restaurant is doing something dirty. That they shouldn't be feeding people. You know I'll say something. I'll keep saying you can't feed that to people. Until I no longer work there. So uh. I've that had I've had that happen to me twice where I saw something that was just I couldn't believe what they were feeding to the public, and then I was the problem. And I'm not like a you know I, I it's it's something that even the health department it would be hard for them to catch, but you know oven cleaner, you know people oh Pixie doesn't do anything for the community. There was a pizza shop I worked at that um. The fryers, the sides of fryers get really caked on grease. Like, imagine if you made, like, a bunch of bacon in a pan. And they would put oven cleaner on the fryer. And you just let it sit for, like, eight minutes. And then you wipe it off. They wouldn't even bother. they just pour the oil right on top of the oven cleaner. It'd be, like, six to eight cups oven cleaner. I said, you know... The, the water comes out of the the sink like as fast as a garden hose. It would take three buckets of water to wash this oven cleaner off. You can't feed that to people in oil. You can't feed that to people. So that's why sometimes my job record is looking a little sketchy. But uh, I did achieve my dream of being a tailor of where I wanted to work at. And, um, but I, uh... I have a legendary reputation. I'm probably one of the most hated people uh, that I can think of in regards to the music scene. I was never, never there 
to be a part of a scene. I was just there for the music and then, I don't know, people and Facebook and harassment and, you know, there are some bad people that are buying their popularity with their venues. You know, hey, so what if we hire, you know, guys who we know that, you know, sex assault women. Let's just call them crazy and hire these guys as our security anyway. You think people don't see you and know what you're doing? Hey, I'm making a video just so you know. But yeah, um... Man, I can't believe it. I can't believe Buffalo. Yeah, I'm from Grand Island, if anybody asks.